Hey guys, Tyler Berger here with Bass Fishing HQ, and today I want to talk about three Ned Rig mistakes that I see a lot of bass fishermen make. So stay tuned, it's going to be a good one. As you guys know, this channel is about to hit 25,000 subscribers. I'm doing a big giveaway when we hit 25K subscribers. If you're not already in that giveaway, simply subscribe to the Bass Fishing HQ channel as well as in the description below, there is a link. If you click on that link, you can fill out your name and email. That way I can contact you if you are one of the winners that could win a brand new reel or one of these awesome bass hats. All right, guys, let's talk about the Ned Rig. Obviously, the Ned Rig is one of the best that is out there on the market. It kind of came about several years ago now, but people have adopted the Ned Rig. And guys, it's, it's not only catching big smallmouth, it catches big largemouth, it catches big spotted bass. A Ned Rig is just one of those lures that it seems like if you can't get bit on any given day, if you just throw a Ned Rig, they're going to bite it. It's a great lure to always have tied up because you just never know when it could make the difference between getting bites and not. But the thing is, is that I see a lot of guys that are fishing a Ned Rig kind of doing the same three things, maybe in the wrong way. And today I really just wanna address those mistakes so that you don't make those in the future. All right guys, so mistake number one is fishing the Ned Rig one way. This is something that I see a lot of bass fishermen go out there and do. And me, myself, I'm guilty of this as well. We all rig up kind of the same Ned Rig. Maybe it's a green pumpkin Ned Rig, whatever it may be. We cast it out and we all tend to work it the way that we've gotten bit in the past. Maybe that's dragging it really slow or making small hops, whatever it may be, guys. But the thing is, is that the Ned Rig is a little bit more versatile of a lure than you think. You can fish a Ned Rig a lot of different ways. Now, while I do think that simply just dragging this Ned Rig super slow on the bottom is one of the best ways to catch fish on it. And I think that was really why it was initially developed. There are a number of different other ways you can actually fish this Ned Rig. And so guys, really in this first kind of mistake that I see a lot of people make is, is simply just always doing the exact same thing. A couple of different ways that you can fish a Ned Rig actually come from some other fishermen, some other YouTubers that I wanna share with you. It's things that I have learned from them that I have done myself and have caught bass on, and now I wanna share those things with you. So three ways that you can fish a Ned Rig that you may have never fished it in the past. Let's go through those real quick. The first technique I actually learned from watching Benjamin Nowak's YouTube channel, guys, and he has a couple of really great videos on the Ned Rig, and one of them really caught my eye. This was a video that he actually did using his pan optics and actually he was casting at suspended fish and literally just kind of swimming a Ned rig through the water column swimming it very high even though he was fishing in 20 and 30 foot of water I think he was actually keeping the Ned rig up in that five six foot zone really kind of higher in the water column and simply just swimming it for those suspended smallmouth I remember watching this video and thinking man that is that's crazy you don't think to throw things like Ned rigs that way I've actually done this and applied the same method and I've actually done well catching fish that are suspended and fish that are even busting okay this Ned rig we all call it the turd it's a perfect little three inch minnow if you put on a minnow colored pattern on this it's really gonna look just like a minnow in the water column and you don't have to drag it slow you can simply reel this thing in just below the surface or even let it pendulum back to the boat and guys this can be a great way to fish a Ned rig. Another way to fish a Ned rig is actually vertically. You know, we've actually seen several tournaments. One, Mark Daniels Jr. won a Bassmaster Elite Series fishing a Ned rig vertically. Seeing fish on his 2D graph dropping straight down to him. We saw Micah Frazier do the same thing at the St. Lawrence River. He was fishing a Ned rig vertically. I've also seen Brian Latimer on his YouTube channel doing the exact same thing, basically saying that this kind of works as a Demiki rig. When you see fish, you can drop down to them and catch them on it. So fishing a Ned rig vertically is a great way to catch fish on it. The next way I like to catch fish on a Ned rig is something I've kind of developed. It's no secret, but it's really just snapping a Ned rig off the bottom. We see a lot of guys do this with tubes. They'll do this with heavier tubes. They're actually snapping that bait off the bottom and letting it fall down 
you can do the same thing with a Ned rig. And I think that sometimes this can work better towards the end of summer when those fish have seen a lot of Ned rigs and seen a lot of baits. Sometimes the only way to get them to bite is to snap something off the bottom to cause a reaction strike. So snapping a Ned rig is a great way to catch fish. All right, guys, let's go into mistake number two that I see a lot of bass fishermen make with a Ned rig, and that is fishing too heavy of a Ned rig. If you guys don't know, the, the Ned rig was really developed using like extremely light weights. I'm talking about like 16th ounce of a weight, a 132nd of an ounce of a weight. When the Ned rig or the Midwest finesse rig was really kind of originated, that is the type of weight that it was originally intended to be fished on. And guys, kind of talking about earlier, one of the most popular ways, again, to catch fish on a Ned rig is to simply drag the bait. Now, I think that a lot of guys are actually missing out on a fish because they're using too heavy of a Ned rig in those situations. When you are simply just dragging it across the bottom, really the lighter you can go on your Ned rig, the more bites you're going to get. For me, I really try to never go above that one tenth of an ounce size. I feel like I can fish one tenth of an ounce fairly effectively down to 15, 20 foot of water. Now, yes, there are times where we're going to have to step it up to a, maybe a one sixth ounce, a quarter ounce, whatever it may be. But guys, the lighter you can go on a Ned rig, the more bites you're going to get. If you're simply fishing a Ned rig in five, six, seven, eight foot of water, just do this for me. Try fishing it on as light of a head as possible. One, you're going to get hung a lot less on the bottom because we all have been there. We've probably broken off. There's probably hundreds of thousands of Ned rigs that are on the bottom. A lighter Ned rig gets more bites because it just looks very natural down there on the bottom. Just kind of barely kind of clicking down there on the bottom across the rocks, just kind of moving very slowly, very natural to the fish that are down there. So guys, mistake number two, you could be using too heavy a Ned rig, step it down and start catching more fish. All right, guys, let's talk about the third mistake that I see a lot of guys making with the Ned rig. And this is actually going to come down to the Ned rig itself. And this is actually going to kind of be a hack, a little, a, a little Ned rig hack that I see. Now, one of the most popular types of Ned rig heads that you see guys buying a ton of is the Z-Man shroom head, I believe it's called. This was the one that I originally used a lot back in the day. And since then, I've actually started to pour my own Ned rig head. Heads. But one thing I want you to do, a little modification that you can make with these Z-Man shroom heads is, guys, these little Z-Man shroom head things, they come with this little bitty plastic keeper on the bottom of them. And guys, although that this does help you to keep that plastic a little bit up on the hook shank, what ends up happening a lot of times is you start catching a lot of fish on a Ned rig and because you're using an Elastec style bait, it's always going to get kind of balled up. Your, your Elastec is going to get balled up on that little hook keeper. And it actually can make that bait kind of twist and, and be a little bit deformed on your hook. And what you really want when you're fishing a Ned rig is a perfectly straight bait. If that bait is a little bit twisted, it's going to spiral, it's going to twist your lineup, it's going to lead to a lot of frustration. So little bitty hack you can do with this shroom head from Z-Man is simply take that little plastic keeper off of there. What I'm gonna do is literally just take a pair of pliers, I'm gonna grab that hook keeper from the top and you can really easily just pull it off just like I did right there. So now all I have is a bare hook. So guys, here's the thing. Super glue works extremely well with all your Z-Man plastic bait. So if you put a little dab of super glue right there in the head of that bait, now because that hook keeper is off of there, that bait's gonna stay on there because of the super glue and you're gonna have no problems with it twisting at all. So take that little plastic keeper off and I promise you it's gonna lead to a lot less frustrating fishing. All right guys, so those are the Ned Rig mistakes that I see a lot. I really think if you correct these mistakes and kind of do the tips that we talked about here, you're gonna start catching a lot more Ned Rig fish. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Please comment below if you have a question. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.